autism is diagnosed in around 1 in 36 children in the U.S. That's according to the CDC. April is Autism Acceptance Month. Locally, ChildServe aims to support children and young adults who have a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder or who demonstrate common behaviors of ASD. Joining me is Leslie Rogers, the Vice President of Outpatient Services for ChildServe. Leslie, thank you so much for being here. Tell us about ChildServe's autism programs. Sure. ChildServe really has a unique program. We have up to 16 support services that we provide in our autism program to support those children with autism, children or young adults, I should say. And um, of those, we have three core services, our ABA services, our Autism Day program, as well as our outpatient rehab services that really wrap together a nice um, core service package for those with autism. How and where can people utilize Child sure. Service programming? Yeah, so you know, we have four locations across Iowa. Okay. Uh, specifically in eastern Iowa, we do have two locations in Iowa City as well as here in Cedar Rapids. Um, if you would like to get in contact with ChildServe, the best way is to go to our website, childserve.org, and to, to look up those specific location um, information and, and contact them in regard to that. And you have a grand opening next month for a new space in Coralville. What can you tell us about that? Sure. Yeah, we're very excited. You know, we've had expanded wait lists in eastern Iowa now for some time. And so this uh, grand opening that we have planned is Thursday, May 16th okay. from 12 to 2. And the community, uh, staff, families, it will be a great celebration of just that uh, expansion there in Iowa City and just being able to serve more children. That's what you're mm -hmm. seeing is the need and the want to be able to serve more children. Absolutely, yes. I think, you know, we've really seen the growth in, in eastern Iowa and it's great that we're able to provide additional uh, space and location so that, you know, more children don't have to drive so far and families can, you know, lead their lives in, in an easier way by having a closer location. What advice maybe would you have for a parent or a guardian who's maybe trying to navigate an autism diagnosis? Sure, you know, it's really overwhelming, or it can be very overwhelming. So really what I recommend is that they, they first off get in touch with, with an organization. Um, something like Child Serve, an organization that can really provide <clears throat> the options and next steps that they might need in their journey. Um, there's other resources out there. The Autism Society of Iowa has some great resources as well as the Regional Autism Program through the University of Iowa. So there's a lot of great resources, but I really encourage them to get connected with someone that can help them um, kind of go through those different options. And that's the bottom line is that there are resources out there and there are people available mm -hmm. to help. So you're not alone. <laughs> Correct. Yes, you're never alone. You just, it really helps to get connected with an organization that can help you through that process. Wonderful. Well, Leslie Rogers with ChildServe, thank you so much for being here and sharing this information with you're us. You're welcome. Thank you so much.